In this video, I want to talk about support policies. To get to our support policy options, we go to File and Preference. And within the Preferences menu, I'm going to select my PolyJet options and scroll down just a little bit to get under the Advanced Slicer settings. Here you'll find our two different support policies, one for matte surface finishes and one for glossy surface finish. It's important to keep in mind that these policies are applied to the entire tray and not on a model by model basis. If we look at our support policies for matte surface finish, we have two options. We have the default option, which adds our standard thickening around holes and cavities to make sure they're sharp and crisp. It provides a thin shell of support material around the entire model to get the even matte surface finish and only puts support material where needed underneath to keep structural stability. Now if we look at our glossy surface finish options, our default glossy surface finish will again add thickening around holes and cavities to make sure that they're sharp and clear. This also adds downward support from those holes and cavities which can sometimes lead to an undesired matte tower effect on the side of models. Our second option is smart support policy. This does not add thickening around cavities and holes. It typically results in slightly less accurate hole dimensions and slightly less crisp text, but does not create those downward uh, support towers that cause matte finishes on the side of parts. So again, this may be a more desirable surface finish on the side of parts, but you may be sacrificing some crispness or accuracy of your features.